Hey! Mini Bash. It is the 29th of July, 2019. And, man, it's getting hard to navigate this world, isn't it? It's pretty thick out there. The deception, the lies. Praise God, you know, he gives us that peace and that understanding and the strength to come on here and, and try and point out to people that they live in a fallen world there's nothing but deception and lies everywhere you turn. They give you this false hope in everything they do. It's like, oh, if we do this, it'll be better. We're going to clean up the dirt. We're going to fix the, the darkness. We're going to get all the evil out of the world, right? But in fact, you can see this spiritual warfare manifesting into our world. And it comes in every shape and form. I mean, this is just a perfect example. A major milestone where U.S. and Israel join together, right out in the open, to build missile systems that intercept outside of the atmosphere. Think about that, okay? They're saying that they're going outside of the firmament with these new weapons. This is just another part of the rebellion. This is a spiritual thing that manifests in the natural. You understand? That's all this is saying. It's the rebellion. Let no man deceive you by any means. Okay? The Arrow 3. This is very, very telling, to say the least. Alright? Again, the rebellion. I, I put all these scriptures up here. This is important that you read and understand what's being told. Because it's the truth. It's the only truth you're going to get. You're witnessing the minions of the devil himself trying to circumvent judgment. They believe that they can ascend above the throne of God and be like God. This is just the way they are deceived. This is all derived from the fallen angels. It's from the beginning. It's, it's just a big, giant hamster wheel that humanity just continually devours itself, cannibalizing itself, and, and it seems like there's no end to it, right? Well, there is. It's the atoning blood of Jesus Christ. The reason you see all this nutbaggery in the world is because of sin. It's because it's in a fallen state. Man is in a fallen state. you got to understand this. We are in sin until we are redeemed through the blood of Christ. The blood. You understand? that you, What we're witnessing here is just their a final attempt in their rebellion against God. Between CERN and the deception in the churches. I mean, you just can't even count all the ways you're being lied to. And it's all got one purpose. To lead you away from the truth of God. And from Jesus Christ. That's the, why do you think Jesus is the most attacked name in the world? I mean, think about it. The, Satan's main job at this point is to destroy the remnant of believers in Christ. That is his final shot because everything else has failed. He failed in the garden. He failed with the Tower of Babel. He failed to stop Jesus. On and on. And now he's going to go after you, a hunter of souls. You understand? Remember Bereshit, the Israeli fake moon landing situation there? And you got to please go and study these scriptures. The word of God is imperative for you to understand what's going on and what you need to do. The darts, the arrow, the arrow three, the fiery darts. That's literally what it means. I mean, the Bible verse that I put up after every video, Ephesians 6, okay? And the third piece of armor he talks about, above all, is the shield of faith, which allows you to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. The darts, the missile, the spear, the arrow. Arrow 3, okay? Now, people like to squawk about the gematria. Well, when you're led through the Holy Spirit to look at these things, you do it. That would be like quenching the Spirit. I'm not a gematria believer. 
I'm a believer in Christ Jesus and his Holy Spirit that leads us to truth. And he owns the numbers. Satan just takes them and distorts them to deceive. And if you put the numbers to arrow three in the gematria, you'll see that the English and simple gematria spell out the wrath of God coming upon those transgressors. The fire, the blood, the atoning blood of Christ, it's all there. They reject the prophesied sent Messiah. Okay? And these are all just hunters. That's what they are now. They just want to hunt you down and keep you from the redeeming blood of Christ. It's the main objective. They, the arrows. What, what shoots arrows? Hunters like Orion and Apollo and Artemis. I mean, look at these guys. All you got to do is look at them. Artemis. Is it literally grabbing an arrow out of the quiver? Apollo, an archery expert. You see what I'm saying? Nimrod, the mighty hunter. These are all hunters. That's what they are. They're hunting your soul. They directly relate to all these entities. They're all the same fallen ones. Why would NASA name all of its things after hunters? Because it's a real thing. And again, with the Hebrew word, Nasha, to lead astray, beguile, like the serpent in Genesis 3.13. Rebellion, rebellion. The Space Force, all this stuff that, that led me to even make this video. Because this is just telegraphing that they are very close to unleashing their grand deception. Creating so much chaos and havoc in the world that the people will Beg the governments of the world for a solution. There's your new world order, and it's here. It's here. These are all driven and inspired by the fallen angels. All these people. I'm just telling you, you guys. Even the third angel, as in Arrow 3. The fallen angel, Gadriel. Okay, we find him in Enoch. Enoch, chapter 69, of all places. The name of the third angel is Gadriel. He's the one who showed the weapons of death to the children of men. You see what I'm saying? The shield and the breastplate, the sword for slaughter and the weapons of death to the sons of men. Why do you think we're told we need this shield of faith and the breastplate of righteousness? Because it's a spiritual war. This is like crazy, you guys. But it's true, they're wanting to release their Messiah from the pit. That's where their Messiah comes from. He is anti-Christ. Undoubtedly, in your face, and a giant snare. That's what all of this is. It's a trap! And they are building up to this great deception. And it will have to do with space and the space force. It's just insane, you guys. I pray this makes sense to you. I really do. You need Jesus. You need him now before it's too late. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 